Hi, I'm Mike from Volterra and I'm going to show you how to print your first board on the V1. First, we're going to launch the V1 software that we got from the Volterra website. Next, we're going to power up the printer and plug it into our computer using the provided USB cable. You'll see the Volterra software recognizes the printer and automatically starts updating to the latest firmware. Make sure your computer's connected to the internet or we're going to have a bad time. Okay, so you'll see four options. Print conductive ink, uh, dispense solder paste, heat the bed to reflow components or cure ink, or drill to do three hole components and vias. First things first, we need to print our design. You'll see two options here, simple and aligned print. Aligned is for boards with existing features like prefab boards. Since we're starting with a blank substrate, I'm gonna pick simple. Our boards have fiducials that you can use to align with, uh, but I'm gonna show you the really easy way to set this up. Next, we need to select which ink we're using. Take a look at your cartridge and see which ink name you have. Next, select the ink in the software to load a customized profile specific to your ink for the best possible print. Next, we load our circuit. We'll be printing the Hello World board, which is right in the software. But if we wanted to load a custom design, we can pull it right from the hard drive. Uh, you can also load the last circuit you were printing. Uh, that's just a personal project. Um, you can ignore that. What we're actually going to print is the Hello World. Okay, before we print this circuit, let's take a quick look at the sidebar. There's status info with current temperature and print head position, an emergency stop, a home button to return the print head to the starting point, a settings panel, and a support button to report problems or ask questions of yours truly. Now it's time to clamp down our board. Flip the clamps and you'll see ledges on both sides. The ones with the notches on them are for clamping down the substrate. The smooth ones are for holding the printed board while it bakes on the heated bed. Right now, we're gonna clamp. The easiest way to do this is to put the clamps on the board and get it all tight in one hand, then secure it in place with the thumb screws using your other hand. Okay, now we outline and probe. This one is the probe, the pointy boy. You can see it's got some contact pads on the top. These connect to contact pins on the carriage system. And give it a little wiggle to make sure it's secure. If you misplace the probe, it's gonna measure everything wrong and you're gonna have a real bad time. So now we need to position the circuit. The probe will outline the printing area. Boom, nailed in one, but that's because I'm a pro. Don't feel bad if your probe misses the edge, just reposition your circuit like this. Now, we gotta map the Z height of the board. This baby is mapped. Now we can't move it, or we're gonna have to redo that process. Next, we're gonna get our ink ready to dispense. So now I'm gonna uncap the ink and put it into the dispenser. Now I'm gonna grab a nozzle. Screw it onto the end here, like that. Now I'm gonna take the dispenser assembly, make sure it's backed off all the way, just to be safe. And then just insert it. Done. Next, we're gonna prime the dispenser so we can lay some traces on the board. This is an extremely important step. We need to pressurize the ink in this cartridge so the syringe will lay it all on the board properly. So I'm gonna turn this gear counterclockwise until I feel a slight resistance and a tiny bit of ink comes out of the nozzle. Then I'm gonna turn the gear a quarter of the way back so it doesn't leak. Super easy to do, but also super important. Okay, now we need to calibrate. Mount the dispenser just like you did the probe. Calibration is where we set the resolution of our print. So take your time and make sure you get this right. You want nice thick traces to carry all that sweet, sweet electricity, but not so thick they touch each other. Use these little plus minus buttons or the left and right arrows on your keyboard to tune the amount of ink being dispensed. You can do this on the fly while printing. You want your traces to look like mine here. When you're good, just wipe the board clean. Use a couple of drops of isopropyl alcohol if it's stubborn. All right, let's print this board. I'm gonna keep an eye on this one to make sure it's flowing well. You get too much ink and it's gonna short some circuits. If you get too little, you're not gonna get complete traces. But if we primed and calibrated properly, it should print nicely. You'll see a little blob of ink on the H. This can happen sometimes with the very first trace. I would wipe that off and selectively print to get that fixed up but it's not connected to anything, so I won't bother. Beauty, the board is printed, but the ink is still wet, so we gotta cure it. If you had any problems with your print, you can just wipe it off and start again, or you can wipe off individual parts and print them selectively. 
Just make sure you don't move the board because we've already mapped it in this position. I'm gonna cap this sink, keep it from drying, and I'm gonna put it straight into the fridge. Now, we're gonna flip the board for curing. Just change the order of the clamps. Hopefully you can leave the screws where they are, but make adjustments if you need to. Use the board face up to get the fit right. Then flip the ink side down to cure the traces. Make sure you do this part carefully so you don't smear the circuit. Now it's time to burnish. Just scrub the board for about 20 seconds. You'll know things are done when the pads have a slight shine. Now that we've finished burnishing, the next step is to clamp our board down and dispense paste on it before we can populate. So like before, the probe needs to map the board so the V1 knows where to put the solder paste. To do that, I'm gonna teach it where two of the pads are and it will figure out the rest from there. I'm just gonna select a pad and the probe will move over it. Using the arrow keys, I can line it up roughly and lower the probe. Now the resolution is finer and I can get the probe perfectly centered. When I've got the probe dead center of the pad, I'll hit measure. Now we head to another feature and do the same thing again. This gets two points of measurement on the board. When the board is measured, we're just gonna validate it by clicking around to a subset of the pads, making sure each one is a bullseye. Okay, another quick probe and it's time for solder paste. Like before, make sure the dispenser is primed and properly clipped to the cam head. All right, paste dispensing time. The plus minus buttons or arrow keys let us tune the flow like before. I'm gonna keep an eye on this one. The first couple are gonna be a little bit rough. After it's done, I'm gonna use selective print to redo those pads. All right, this board is fully pasted, so now I'm gonna put this guy back in the fridge and get busy assembling. You can do this pretty quick because we're gonna reflow these components on the board, which will pull them into the right position. Board is populated, now I just need to hit reflow. You can imagine how tough it would be to hand solder these tiny surface mount components on the board. If you've done a lot of reflowing before, this might not look familiar, but that's just because you're reflowing to an ink and it looks a bit different. There's still a strong electrical connection being made. That's it, we're done. We've got a working board. This thing you could throw right into a hardboard prototype and get going. Proud of you. I'm proud of you.